This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. The Mafia. A secret order dedicated to Cosa Nostra, this thing of ours. If you violate what you know about this life, and you're going to burn in hell like the saint is burning in your hands. Until recently, no one knew for sure exactly what the rules of Cosa Nostra were. When you're a thug and a gangster, what rules do you have? Now, for the first time, former mobsters speak out about the codes that govern their criminal world. You, you followed the rules, and you, and you know if you didn't, what the consequences were. And how Cosa Nostra fell victim to the American dream. In 1999, Tony begins extorting porn shops in Lower Manhattan. Porn makes for soft targets. I'm not gonna walk into, uh, you know, uh, a store with an old lady and an old man, you know, making pottery. I'm gonna go into a business that I know functions in the gray area of, of the law. Those are the type of businesses that you can go in and you can extort them every week. Tony's technique is simple and brutal. I go in, I introduce myself, I may, you know, start becoming friends with the guy, and I tell him, listen, if anybody ever tries to come in here, I know how this business is. If anybody ever tries to come in here and butcher you or tries to shake you down for money, call me. I'll be more than, you know, I'll help you out. And then a week later, I send the kid in there with a baseball bat. Tony is soon making good money but he decides to carve his capo out of the loop. Sometimes, lies can suit the boss's purpose. The biggest elephant in the room for the mafia is drug dealing. During the 1970s, Henry Hill begins dealing heroin. The brown powder comes from Sicily, smuggled in goods bound for local restaurants. The heroin arrives pure. Dealers like Hill mix it with additives to make it go further and enhance the profit. One kilo would make 30 kilos. Street, you know, so you figure it out. I mean, you pay a quarter million dollars for a kilo, times it by 30. Heroin presents a money-making opportunity too good to miss. Hill is overwhelmed by the returns. The Pizza Connection investigation breaks up a massive drug distribution ring. In just nine years, the Mafia has smuggled heroin worth $1.6 billion. When the busts go down, Vanessa's Sicilian contacts, now aware he's an undercover agent, asked to see him in their prison cell. I figured, well, you know, what are they going to say? Maybe there's going to be a threat. To... But they were very cordial. And uh, Paolo said, you know, I, you were a gentleman. Uh, our, in all our transactions, there were business transactions. But the meeting ends with a chilling warning. He says, you don't have to fear us in any way, you know. Uh, uh, he says, the people that introduced you to us have to be held accountable. Vanessa gets the message. He wastes no time in whisking the cooperating Philly wise guys into witness protection. Yeah, I fucked up. I had respect in the Contrera crime family, and now I'm gonna die a stinking rat. But hey, what are you gonna do, huh? You gotta watch your own ass, you know? <laughs>